In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to configure the eBGP and IBGP peerings. I've got some notes here, and this is from this book. Uh, it is important to remember that the BGP TCP connection will not become established unless there is IGP connectivity between the two peers or the two peers or the two peers are directly connected. We will use OSPF as an IGP to establish the required underlying connectivity internally. Update source. It specifies the interface to be used as a source IP address of the BGP session with the neighbor. So it's just, you know, uh, a BGP option where you can specify the interface that you want to be the uh, source IP address of the BGP session. And third one is, remember that eBGP multi-hub is applicable with only eBGP, not IGP. Because IGP, uh, they, you know, you can have IBGP peerings with uh, IBGP speaking routers from multiple hubs away uh, but by default eBGP peering is you know uh, is just one hub away so uh, you have to uh, enable eBGP multi-hub uh, under the eBGP process so also says here that uh, the value at the end, I'm going to show you uh, this. Uh, at the end, to in this example, time to live value to be configured in the IP packet header. So let me show you the, the topology that uh, this actually from, you know, I, I got this from this book. So if you want to you know, uh, uh, check this yourself. Check out this. Check out this yourself. You can go in and check this uh, book. So let's go to RTA router. So RTA has an internal uh, BGP. Uh, peering with RTF, internal or IBGP, uh, just the same. So let me show you the BGP configuration. Um, I already configured the BGP. Um, I already configured BGP configurations on all the routers, actually. So let me just show you the BGP configuration on RTA. So this is... <coughs> The BGP configuration, and let me actually show uh, show IP interface brief. So as you can see, uh, let me actually explain the topology first. So uh, RTA, like I said earlier, uh, has inter internal IBGP internal BGP peering with RTF, and you know. They are RTA and RTF are in this uh, network, and RTA has an eBGP uh, peering with RTC, so eBGP directly connected peering. And RTE is not running um, BGP peerings with uh, either RTF or RTD. And RTF has a eBGP multi hub peering with ITD. And of course, you know, these are the uh, network that uh, RTF and, you know, RT are using. And same here, RT and RTAD. And same here, RTA and RTC. So let me go back to RTA. So here, uh, gigabit zero slash zero. Uh, this is the IP address going to RTC, and 
This one is the one going to RTC. Uh, sorry, uh, this one is going to RTF. And loopback is this. So we are, as you can see here, uh, these are the neighbor you know, configure statements. So we are peering with RTF and RTC. So with RTF, IBDP and RTC, EBDP. So here, uh, this is an example of, uh, you know, uh, specifying the update source of the BDP session uh, I showed you earlier in this note. So, update source. So in this case, I'm spe specifying that loopback zero is the update uh, source uh, IP address of the uh, BGP session with the neighbor. So, I believe by default it's the outgoing interface IP address. So, yeah, that's how you can specify the an interface to be uh, the update source. So, let me do show IP BGP summary. So, you can see that, you know, uh, uh, neighbors are, I mean, BGP state uh, is uh, established for both neighbors. And let me actually do show IP BGP neighbor. So here, uh, we will see that RTA has to, you know, we can verify here that this is the internal link. This is the RTF IP address, yeah. IP address and established. So IBGP uh, peering. And down here, uh, we have another peering with RTC with this IP address and says external link. And down here, we will see that looking for that option or section where you can see the uh, type of Should be here. Let me find it. Can't find it. Should be here. Connection. Configured external link, right? Oh, this is not sorry, this is not this is not uh, ABGP peering. So I was looking for that uh, uh, option or uh, section that says, you know, this. Uh, RTA or this particular, you know, um, neighbor is two hops away from. Uh, I mean, this router RTA is two hops away from that neighbor. Um, actually, that option should be here uh, on RTF. So let me do show IPBGP neighbor. Should be here. So RTF has an IBGP peering with RTA, as you can see 
here in the topology and ABGP multi hat pairing with ITD. So let's look for the section, the neighborship uh, section with RTD on RTF. So RTD has an IP address of 192.68.12.1. 192.68.12.1. Should be down here. Here, okay. So external link, right? So I'm actually looking for this section. So it says external BGP neighbor may be uh, maybe up to two hops away. This is the one that uh, this is the this is what I was looking for when I was looking at uh, ITA. I was looking at the wrong router. So because you know, uh, like I said, uh, RTA and the RTC has ABGP peering, not uh, ABGP multi hub peering. So I have explained uh, IBGP and EBGP, EBGP peering. Uh, let's go to, and actually I already explained uh, ABGP. EBGP multi hat peering as well. So, and of course, you know, uh, just an example RTF is running show OSPF is running on RTF, uh, RTA. Uh, because you know uh, RTA it's using its loopback uh, IP address to communicate with uh, RTF so that's why we need to uh, to have an IP, IGP to have IGP yeah to have IGP configured on on these routers and RTF and RTA RTD uh, they are not directly connected so we have to have you know um, a way for ITF and ITD to have layer three connectivity, and we are using OSPF for that. So yeah, I think uh, that's it in this video. Uh, if you have found this informative, informative, please like the video and please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you on the next on the next one. Thanks.